Hey everyone, Tony Burke here, and I want to show you my new project, Project Nerd, and the first part of that project is the AutoBox. What if I told you that you could build yourself a Linux VM with Ansible, Container Lab, and Topologies, as well as a built-in IDE running VS Code as a web app, and you could do all of this, build all these components in less than an hour, and then everything in this is free. So either free, open source, license free, or at least free to use in the lab. All right, one of the biggest problems we have as network administrators when we're trying to learn automation is getting ourselves an environment that we can do the learning of network automation that we can play around because we need an automation system, typically a Linux system. We need something to automate uh, some sort of some sort of network device, per, preferably virtual. But getting all the components together is not very straightforward and there's a different million different options you can take. But I've put together a set of instructions and scripts that will that you can use in to build out a device that has an IDE, an integrated development environment, which is an editor and um, linter and a bunch of other stuff, a bunch of other development style stuff. Uh, it's it's actually based on VS Code. It has Container Lab. It has um, you do have to provide an image from uh, Arista, but it has topologies to build a leaf spine topology using uh, Arista CEOS. And it's got uh, has Ansible built builds an Ansible and a bunch of other stuff and it takes less than thirty minutes. Actually, it might take a little bit longer if it's the first time. But let's say less than one hour to go from just a hypervisor ready to install a VM to a functioning development automation environment. And I call it the Nerd Project. So the Nerd Project is a bunch of um, instructions and scripts to build these different types of boxes. And the first one is called the Auto Box. And I have it, I've already installed it here. So we can see that I've got a 10 CPU VM. Um, I have currently, I have 16 containers. So I have four spines, four leaves, and four hosts, all connected to each other in a leaf spine topology. And it's using up about 16, 17 gigs of RAM. I've got 24 gigs of RAM on the device itself. My hypervisor has 48 gigs of RAM, but uh, this is a large topology and you can do it in less than 24 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and log into that box. Um, we don't log in, we don't need to log in via SSH. We can go in via a web browser. So let's do that now. So this is the web interface. This is VS Code. If you've ever used VS Code, you should know that this looks exactly like VS Code because it is, it's a it's something called Code Server. It runs as a web application server on top of this Linux box. So this is the auto box. And I've got instructions. And like I said, you can get all this set up in about half hour to an hour. Uh, and all of this stuff here is free. None of this stuff, uh, most of it's open source. Some of it is not, um, but the stuff that's not open source is still free to use as a, in a lab environment, lab license kind of thing. Uh, so you don't have to pay for anything. Um, the only thing you, you have to pay for is the hardware. And you need something decent as a hypervisor, something with, I would say at least 32 gig of RAM, but better better 64. Um, but anyway, and there's GitHub repositories for all of this stuff. Uh, for example, there's the Nerd Autobox Topologies uh, repo that has a small um, uh, and large cloth, cloth deployment. Uh, cl not, cl not cloth, I keep calling it cloth, it's clo. Uh, large and small clo deployment, the small one is um, eight devices, so four leaves, two spines, and two hosts. And that would take probably up about seven gigs of RAM. And the large one has 16 containers. And uh, so that is, oh yeah, uh, 17. So this one is, uh, takes up about 16, 17 gigs of RAM. So we're using CEOS, which is Arista's containerized version of their EOS network operating system, we're running the latest one as of May 2024, which is 4.32. And it's already up and running. So let's go into the command line. So go to the hamburger here under terminal. And I have Ansible already installed. It's part of the instructions. Again, all of this can get everything you see here can be installed in less than an hour. So, um, and we'll go into the Ansible directory. And in here for the large topology, 
I've got the inventory all set up for the large topology and I've got an Ansible config file and I have a simple playbook that's gonna add a VLAN to every device. Let's go and do the group leafs. So if we look at inventory, we have a group called leafs here that includes leaf one, leaf two, leaf three, leaf four. And I'll do Ansible playbook, add VLAN. It's gonna log in each device and it added uh, VLAN 10. So did VLAN 10, called it DMZ or DMZ. So let's go and see if admin at leaf four. Oh, uh, do the IP address. If we, um, if we look at the inventory, so that's the name. So let's do leaf four. So copy that. Or I could just go by the IP address. The default password is admin. You can change that, of course. Enable show VLAN. And there it is, DMZ. So this is really cool. The um, like I said, it's one of the one of the biggest challenges that you have as a network administrator is to get an environment where you can learn all this stuff. So all of this. It's a little bit of a little bit of assembly required. It's got the instructions. It's got the GitHub repos that you can clone and download and and do everything with. And you can have your own automation system as long as you've got a hypervisor and you can run a anywhere between a 12 gig VM to a 24 gig VM. I think um, for small and large, I think that would be just fine. And then you can play around with Ansible. You can play around with leaf spine topologies. You could write your own Python scripts. You've got this editor environment and you can just stick it in uh, your laundry room and you're good to go. So yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, down in the comments below and uh, thank you for watching.